going to use this Greek pita bread as well as Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, some pizza squeeze. We've got the oven set to 400 and we're going to bake this for 10 minutes. My stubborn cat Otis likes to have standoffs with me when I'm running late and need to go somewhere. It takes them forever to get off my car. Hazel doesn't know we're picking up her daddy from the airport. Who's that? Is that your daddy? <laughs> Baby, what you doing, girl? You gonna get Mama's car? Trying to figure out where I've been? Bowie, Otis, why do y'all look like you're up to no good? No, no. You don't want to walk. No, no. You don't want to be in the stroller. We can't no. carry you everywhere, Hazel. No, no you can't. Stop complaining. <laughs> hey everybody, I did a video not too long ago on good books to have in your preparedness inventory. One of them is called Don't Throw It, to Grow It. I would say that this more applies to if you live in a small apartment, maybe you don't have a lot of space for a garden. It's a book about 68 windowsill plants. If you do have the space, you can obviously plant them in your garden too. This talks about reusing what you've got. Take your kitchen scraps and turn around and multiply it. So we had some potatoes that had the eyes growing on them. So instead of tossing them, we just decided to go ahead and plant them. And I'm going to also include that video of all the good preparedness books to have on hand in the description box below. Corey decided to use one of these Home Depot buckets to plant our potatoes in. So he's just going to start off putting a little bit of that potting soil mix into the bottom, maybe an inch or two, and then he's just going to kind of wet it down a little bit. Reading some online stuff. You just uh, cover it with like an inch or two, and then uh, as as they grow up, as leaves come out and stems, then you keep adding soil, or soil, and then it keeps growing up higher, and then you get a whole bunch of potatoes at the end of the summer. So put this in there. We'll give it a try and uh, find a sunny spot to put them in, and then we'll check back later. So. 
All right, babe, how does your garden grow? Well, it's growing pretty good, actually. Tomatoes are already producing. That's Anaheim chili. Jalapeno, I already got those ready. Where are the jalapenos? Right here. Yeah. Those oh, are sure ready. enough. And then these are... Yeah, I see them. Yeah, see them? Mm-hmm. And back here are Brussels sprouts. Uh, hopefully, it's not going to get too hot. I should have planted them like in... November. I don't think I planted them until January. Okay. And then <laughs> B, what you doing, B's girl? Around. This is more Brussels sprouts here. Kale. Oh. The kale turned out real good. It's real tasty. B. We just squash going here. Wait, B. Where are you going? Okay. Good talk. Squash going here. Two tomato plants over there. And then a whole slew of. Tomatoes and squash and cucumbers all on the table, almost ready to plant. This was beans. these didn't turn out. I don't remember what they were, but Corey was keeping track. Do you know what these were? You're keeping track on they your were computer. More, uh, cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes, which I think we have an abundance of yeah, tomatoes. I've got tomatoes here, tomatoes here, tomatoes here, tomatoes there. Yeah, those won't basil. be missed. Basil. basil, cucumbers, and squash. Uh, scorpion pepper, I think. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And some dill. And more squash. What's over in those plants That's along the edge? That's oregano. Is the on the one on the right, and mint is the one on the left. And then what's over in that corner? Well, these are. Uh, these are actually uh, strawberries, which I've never seen strawberries grow like that. Mm -hmm. They didn't come up last year, but they re-came back up this year. So um, Something happened because I didn't put strawberries in this one. I just let them put them in those two. So somehow I pollinated over here. <laughs> but, Fertile myrtle. Yeah. So uh, what? how about all your fruit trees over there? What what you got going on all just the way? Just that pear tree there and a pear, pear tree. tree there. That's it. Okay. What tree is this, babe? This papaya. Looks a lot better than it did last year. This, this is the only thing that survived the extreme summer we had last year. And how long will it take to be blooming? I don't know. Producing I've never done papaya before. They say where we're at in Texas, we're a little too far north. Um, but I know people in the south part of town grow them, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Then we'll come back, I don't know, in a couple of months or by the end of the summer and just show you an update. Okay.